Okay, let's talk about two things. One is intonation. This is the, I have too many guitars and I've been just fiddling with that one that sits out all the time, the nylon string one. And to be honest, I've never checked the intonation on that one, but um, I want to do something way up the neck and I have a bunch of electrics. And I tried my brand new D'Angelico Bedford and I was fiddling with it, playing it a little bit and it sounded okay, but then I checked the intonation and it's way off, which is annoying because I know it was spot on a while ago. So I got out a different guitar, I got out a Les Paul I have, and I, same thing, I'm fiddling with it. And one uh, one thing I noticed is all my notes are, you know, the strings were all higher instead of lower. I would think if a guitar sits in a case for like six months or whatever, or more, that the strings would stretch out and the note would go lower. But instead, every one of them, the notes were higher, which makes me wonder what's going on, why the notes would be higher instead of lower. And then every one of them, I checked the D'Angelico, I checked the Les Paul, I have a Telecaster, I checked that, and every one of them, the intonation's off, and the notes were higher when I picked it up. So I finally got this one, and the intonation's a little bit off, and I don't feel like fiddling with it, because it takes me hours and hours to, to get the intonation right. Um, so I'm just curious why sitting for six months why the intonation would go off and why the tuning would go higher. I mean, I keep the house dehumidified in the summer and humidified in the winter. And I, you know, I try to keep everything the same, a controlled environment, but for some reason, all the notes went higher, like the tension got stronger on the strings instead of lessening, even though it just sat. And then the intonation's off on all of them. So if anyone has any idea, why the tones would, the pitch would go higher just from sitting and why the intonation would be off from sitting after I know they were all set perfectly. Um, let me know in the comments because I'm real curious why the notes are going higher and the intonation's off. And then the other topic was perfection. Um, as you know, I'm <laughs> as far from a perfectionist as you can get because I would never upload to YouTube if I was a perfectionist. And um, except when it comes to something like intonation, I'll struggle for hours and hours to get that spot on because it bugs me if it's not spot on. But my son, on the other hand, is an absolute perfectionist. And I was wondering where he gets it from. The only thought I have is because I was never a perfectionist. I mean, I always tried my best and tried to, to make his mom happy and she was never happy. So maybe that's where he gets the perfectionism from is he saw that I couldn't make her happy and so he's trying to be perfect to make her happy or something. I don't know. I don't know where it comes from. It's really just personality, I imagine. I'm gonna try something. I was fiddling with this last time I uploaded, but I was gonna try two things. One, they got the... That's the same note, right? Yeah, right there. I was going to try doing that up here instead. plus a fifth above it or so. And then I was going to try this weirdo, and I don't even know if this is a chord, this weirdo thing up here. Whether 
can do it in the middle of a song is another question. I haven't really practiced enough, but I just stumbled on those and thought they sounded cool, so let's try it.
Anyway, that's my silliness. Oh, I know what I want to do tonight. I got this Trio Plus that I've never tried using. Let me see if I can do that. I got to plug it all up and see. <laughs> I'm stopping this video. <laughs>